so this is the multi-scale conversion deck, which is my kind of clever idea to convert any Telecaster to multi-scale. The body's coming shortly, but it, it looks killer on this underline. It just looks absolutely killer. Sound demo to follow. There you go. designed to retrofit on any Fender Telecaster type body, any type of kit body, or any body that you grab off of eBay or the Stratosphere. The parallel fret typically on these multi-scale guitars is usually somewhere around the seventh fret. In order to make this a conversion neck to fit on any Telecaster body, Parallel fret is the bridge. This is a quarter song mahogany neck. It has an ebony board. 
abalone inlays on the 12th fret. This finish is my kind of secret sauce. It's a satin nitrocellulose. It's the standard rattle can you get from Stu Mac. Um, one of the things they don't tell you, people don't really talk about, is that that satin nitrocellulose is self-leveling, so there's no sanding required. And I hate sanding. And it's perfect for these kind of rapid prototypes. So the secret sauce is something that I picked up from another YouTuber. Just essentially applying an oil finish to the wood, which really helps the green pop. Letting it cure, and then applying that set of nitro over it. I don't care what anybody says, it sticks, works. The satin nitro, although a thin skin, is certainly more durable than a simple oil finish. These are hip shot open gear tuners. These are the locking staggered set. So I like the staggered set because you don't have to use string trees. There's no need for the string tree. I just love this look. It's so clean. The other reason why I choose to use the spoke truss rod wheel here at the heel is because, again, I don't like the look of the truss rod channel at the headstock. There are carbon fiber rod reinforcements in this neck, which make it very stiff. This is one of the thinnest necks um, I've ever made. This is a Fender 2020 body. This is the standard, I think they call it Player Series now. I think it used to be the standard. Made in Mexico. Um, all Fender hardware, Fender pickguard. So this neck will fit on any Fender. So my neck hole screws in the neck were made on the CNC and they align perfectly. The multi-scale here is 25 inches on the high E, which is I guess like a PRS scale here, going all the way up to 26 inches on the low E. And in this case it's drop D. This is strong right now with um, Thames, which wasn't my original intent. Uh, so right now this is in drop D. So the benefit of the 25 inch scale on the higher strings is that you still get that little bendy, slinky feel. And then they slowly kind of go up <clears throat> and scale up to 26. So the original attempt was to string this with uh, very low gauge strings and tune it to drop C or even drop A, which is what I'm going to do when I finish making the body.